Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today on What The Hey, I'm once again reacting to yet another requested video. This video request comes from Arzu Tadion, so hello to you and thank you very much for the request. The video in question that I'm checking out today is titled, Goofs Found in Thomas and the Trucks, All of the Mistakes, which was uploaded on December 20th of 2016. The video duration is 5 minutes and 37 seconds, and the video description links to exterior social media accounts. The video itself was uploaded by GWR Studios, so hello to you and thank you very much so for uploading your content. Like with all my reaction videos, if there's something in the video that I feel may disturb someone to some degree, I'll be sure to mention that in the video description, so feel free to check that out beforehand before watching the rest of the video. So now that all of that's out of the way, let's actually get to watching the video itself. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning Hello. in to this week's goof video. Okay. Now I'm actually really excited about this episode because there's a really bad goof in it. I hope you enjoy. Oh. Really bad. That's very ominous. Okay, so at the beginning of the episode, Thomas is complaining to the other engines because he's bored of shunting coaches. Me too, bro. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. This Me causes too. the other engines to become extremely annoyed with him. And here's where we see the first goof. First world problems. Attention at the beginning of the episode, you'd notice that Thomas is right in between Gordon and Henry. But a little bit later, we can see that Henry is now on the opposite side of the sheds. <laughs> In fact, all of the engines seem to be rearranged. Edward is where James used to be, Henry is where Edward used to be, and Thomas is now in the middle of the shed. I like Just the noise. Just over 20 seconds in and we've already found four goofs. Hmm. Later on, Edward feels sorry for Thomas. He offers Thomas his train of trucks and Condolences, says that he'll push yes. coaches for the day. Thomas oh, nice agrees friendship. and is very excited. <laughs> he then steams away to get some trucks. Now before Thomas had left the sheds, Edward made sure to warn Thomas that the troublesome trucks can be very difficult to work with. Mm -hmm. Thomas was too excited Duh. to listen. Hang on a minute. Let's back that up. This isn't a goof, but I never noticed this. Do you guys see that the troublesome trucks have mouths? It's or is that just a mustache? I never noticed that when I was little. A little bit later, Thomas gets coupled up to his trucks. And here comes the next goof, and this one is a pretty bad one, guys. The conductor blew his whistle. Okay. Wait, what? This guy doesn't have a whistle. All he has is that little I wouldn't flag. even notice I'm that. I'm sorry, Mr. Conductor, but you ain't fooling no one. Consider I wouldn't yourself notice that. A goof. The conductor That's blew awesome. Non-existent whistle. And start it off. So as Thomas starts to leave the station, the trucks are already giving him trouble. Wait, mm -hmm. Thomas, wait. But Thomas wouldn't wait. Thomas is just too stubborn. He doesn't want to wait. So he decides to pull the trucks, even though they say they're not ready. Along That's the journey, Thomas fine, I guess. to go faster and faster. This makes the trucks cross. He whistled. At this point, Thomas feels pretty good about himself. He's finally getting to pull some trucks and... He got that pride, though. Coaches. Ah, you guys think I missed that last goof. Well, let me go back here and I'll point it out. When Thomas comes out of Henry's tunnel, we can clearly see the track jumping up into the air. <laughs> I wouldn't now, even notice that. Really I just don't groups. have good eyes. In this next scene, we can see Thomas flying through Ellsbridge Station. In those two seconds of footage, you just saw three goofs. Let's take a closer look. Okay, first of all, I don't care how fast they say Thomas was going. If he were really going this fast, I'd say he'd be going well over 100 miles an hour. Maybe. And for the second goof, take a look at the top right corner of the screen. Wait for it. Almost there, and... There! Did you see it? Uh, For just a fraction of a second, you can see someone's hand flying into the frame. Oh. And for the third goof, look at the left side of the screen. The tracks just come to an end. So once again, Thomas is very excited that the he's pulling noise. these trucks, but he has no idea what he's in for. And here comes one of the worst goofs that I have ever spotted on a Thomas episode. I mean, I have no idea how this got through. Out for the train. You heard that right, guys. I did no editing on this. At one point, when Thomas is puffing up the hill, we can distinctly hear someone say, Look, Look out, out for, for the, the train. train. Look out for the train. How could this goof slip through? It is so painfully obvious. The music comes to a complete stop. Is that accurate? Look out for the train. Oh my word. 
and then it just continues on. I like just thought that was a bad a, like was audio a edit. To rewind this over and over on my VHS because I just couldn't figure out where that talking was coming yeah. from. Yeah. Go for the train. Go for the train. Go for the train. But anyway, Thomas struggles to go up Gordon's hill. Thomas's driver warns him that they're getting close to the top, so he needs to prepare himself. And this is where everything goes downhill. <laughs> no pun intended. We're stopping. We're stopping, called Thomas. But the coaches don't want to stop. They want to keep going. Go on. Go on. Before Thomas even has a chance to react, the troublesome trucks are pushing him as fast as they can. Stop pushing. Stop pushing, he hissed. But the cars didn't care. They were mad at Thomas for the way he treated them earlier. Accurate. At this point, things are looking pretty bad for Thomas. But fortunately, he's able to veer off into a siding. I must stop. Thomas's buffer beams are black when they should be red. When he opened his eyes, he they appeared I pretty know. wonky. Shortly after the incidents, Sir Topham Hatt has a talk with Thomas. Get Sir Topham Hatt tells Thomas that he has a lot to learn about trucks. Mm -hmm. Sir Topham Hatt's not discouraging Thomas from pulling trucks in the future, but he wants Thomas to get more familiar with the trucks so that this never happens again. It should never and then happen Thomas again. Thomas sadly puffs away. That's his own fault. All right, guys, those were all the goofs that I found in Thomas and the Trucks. This was a fun episode for me because I actually remembered a lot of these goofs when I was a little kid. Now, as always, if you saw some goofs that I did not point out, please leave a comment below and let me know. Again, thanks for watching this video and have a great day. Thank you. That was so nice. Thank you. Fancy. Very nice. Very nice. On my own, I would have never been able to really guess or notice any of those, except for that one very much so obvious, like, audio cue. As GWR was saying in the video, stuff like that usually has to go through multiple people to be, like, okayed, so I have no idea how that got past anyone. Especially with a franchise like Thomas and Friends, because that's, like, such a well-known thing, so I feel like people would want to make sure that their stuff is good before sending it out for a bunch of people to see and notice. But overall, that was super cool, because I definitely would not have noticed some of the stuff that he pointed out. Like, the thing about Thomas's buffers, I think, being black instead of red. I would have never thought about that. And then there was the thing about, like, Thomas going 100 miles per hour. I would have never, like, thought against that. I'd have been like, he's just going pretty dang sonic fast, you know. I don't have a problem with that. But overall, I think that was a neat and fun video, because it's kind of fun to see big corporations and franchises slip up. So yeah, that's essentially the reaction video, so if you have anything that you would like for me to watch, let me know and I'll get to checking it out as soon as I can, so thank you so much for watching. Bye!